how to be the light at the end of the tunnel to supersize your business, how to be the shining light that helps to grow and create the business of your dreams. Sharon Horn Elston here, also known as Jam Grandma, sipping on my bulletproof coffee, which is the light at the end of my tunnel, or actually the energy to start my day. And this expression, I love this expression because it's an expression and an idiom of optimism and hope and intention and positive outcomes and a sense of vision and knowing that there is hope, there is light, there is an end to the darkness, an end to the struggles, an end to the problems and challenges. Now, one at a time is what I'm going to say. I'm going to qualify this because guess what? We live in a changing world, a changing environment, a changing everything. So if we delude ourselves into thinking that if I just solve this one problem, everything is going to be okay, we're going to be setting ourselves up for unhappiness. Sometimes we believe when we're building our businesses and our lives and our relationships that if we can just overcome this one big problem, this one big thing, then we'll be happy. One of the, the <laughs> beliefs that has led probably to the most unhappiness on the planet is thinking that if I just make enough money, then I'll be happy. If I just lose enough weight, then I'll be happy. If I just find the perfect partner, then I'll be happy in, in business or in life. And guess what? Yep, you'll ha have some happiness because we're going to have some happiness anyway, no matter what we do. But you're also going to have and continue to have some challenges, some obstacles, some miserable moments because that's how life is. Life is uh, neither black nor white. It's a series of events and experiences that helps to shape and create who we are as human beings, who we're here, who we are now, and who we're to become and who are we be becoming at all times. So light at the end of the tunnel. I, I like this expression because I've actually experienced it. On family vacations, I remember we'd be driving out west and we'd drive through the tunnels in the mountains. And even in um, Wisconsin and Minnesota, we have tunnels through, not mountains, but big hills that when you enter them, it's completely dark. Now some tunnels, like there's one in downtown Minneapolis that has lights throughout the whole tunnel. Now that does not uh, feel the same. It, reduces accidents, but it doesn't feel the same as when you enter that tunnel without lights and all you see is black and darkness around you. And then all of a sudden as you're advancing forward, as you're moving toward what you want, getting through that tunnel, getting through that problem, getting through that situation, all of a sudden you'll see a little teeny sliver of light and then it gets bigger and bigger and bigger as you progress. And that's how we build our businesses. That's how we grow by holding out the vision. We are the light for our business, for our organization. And by holding out that light, holding out that goal, holding out that vision, that future vision of where we're going as an organization for ourselves, and then for people that join us in that effort to create the business that we're creating, uh, we bring other people along with us. And as we take each step toward the achievement of that ultimate business, that ultimate goal, uh, more and more optimistic things, good things happen, and we see more and more progress until we gain momentum and all of a sudden we're speeding to the light, we're speeding to the end of the tunnel, we're speeding to our goal. So how can you use that to grow and build your business? Well, in several ways. Number one, by being that vision, being that light for all of the people that you interact with as you're, as you're moving toward and, and growing that business of your dreams. And you also can be the light for the people that you serve, for your customers. A lot of times our businesses are designed, almost all of them by the way, to solve problems or to provide solutions to problems or challenges for our ideal customers, our customers, our clients. And they may have been struggling with the problem that we solve for them for, for weeks for sure, months, decades, you know, years and decades, they might have been, you know, struggling with the problem for just a really long time and then losing hope and not necessarily seeing that there's an end to their problem, there's an end to their struggle. And so if you can be that light for your customers, if you can be the light at the end of the tunnel, that they know that they can solve their problem, they can have a better situation, 
because they've, they've worked with you and your organization. And if you can give them a great, enlightening, lighthearted experience along the way as they're dealing with solving the problem or you're solving the problem for them, all the better, all the better to ingratiate your organization with them and in their hearts. And once you touch people um, emotionally, solve problems for them and serve as the light at the end of the tunnel by eliminating a problem or a challenge for them, um, they're, they're going to be um, attached to you or they're going to be connected to you in in some way, shape, or form, probably forever. That's how we create lifelong customers, by really solving their problems, by serving them, by being the light at the end of the tunnel for them, knowing that and giving them hope and some belief and inspiration that they too can overcome a challenge or a problem that they're having. So would love to know your experience with the light at the end of the tunnel. I mean, I've been through tunnels on trains. I've been through tunnels on uh, in cars. I used to drive through the tunnel every day in Minneapolis, Minnesota, uh, on my commute to work when I was in corporate America. One of my jobs was on, my jobs were always on the opposite side of where I lived. It's really interesting. But that was my brain time. I relaxed, my chill, my planning, my de-stressing time was my commute back and forth to my jobs in corporate America. Sometimes when I was raising my family, it was the only time I got any peace and quiet. <laughs> So that was my little light at the end of the tunnel drive. And we have to find things like that for ourselves and for the people in our organizations that move us forward, that continue to give us hope, that keep us optimistic. Sit, go out, have an absolutely amazing day. If I can help you in any way, hit me up in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow with another interesting idiom. Where does it come from? Um, what does it mean? And how might it be impacting you or at least the people that you interact with every day? Have a great day.